YouTube, how's it going? Wild Prodigy. My real name is Joey. Whatever you guys want to call me, that's great with me. So anyways, let's get into it. Got the BenQ monitor here. I'm about to show you settings for the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. Now, I posted my last video on this monitor a while back with some settings that I thought were good, but they weren't the best, and some settings were incorrect. So we're gonna start out on a 360. You're gonna to go to your HD settings, make sure it's 1080p, that's obvious. Expanded is gonna be the choice for the reference levels. Gonna be a darker color. HDMI color space, I had that set at YCBCR709. Typically used for high definition movies. We're not playing movies, we're playing video games, baby. So we're going to change that to RGB. That's the correct setting there. Go go into the monitor settings itself. Picture mode. I go anywhere in between Gamer 1 and RTS 2. So with those settings on the Gamer 1 or the RTS 2, we're going to go to Picture Advanced. Make sure your PC range is set at either 0 to 255 or 16 through 235. So the darker color is going to be 0 to 255. That's going to be a full range of colors. Or if you want a little brighter, change it to 16 through 235. Personal preference again. Now uh, it's going to go up to picture. Go to brightness. Got it set at 84. And it's good with the brightness set anywhere from uh, 75 to 85 for Gamer 1 or RTS 2. Contrast got set about 43. Go from anywhere from 45 to 50. Again, you don't want that too high. You don't want eye strain and you don't want to go blind at a young age. So, um, yeah. Oh, go to black equalizer. No sharpness. It's going to be at one black equalizer. I'll turn it down to 10. Anywhere from 10 to 18 will be good. And that setting uh, makes it easier to see into darker corners, darker spots without sacrificing uh, the picture quality. So we're gonna go down to AMA, make sure that's turned on high. You don't want that on premium and you do not want it off. Now, I saw a lot of comments on my last video about the hue and saturation. I had it on and I have no idea how I had it on, how I turned it on. So if any of you know how to do that, please leave a comment below. I'll be searching on how I had those settings on and hopefully find that out for you guys and I'll leave more information in the comment section below whenever I do find that out. But um, I think that's it for those settings. With the hue and stuff, I'm not sure if it's a picture mode setting that you have to turn on. If you want to do a factory reset, make sure and uh, take note of your settings that you have because it's going to delete everything back to the factory you know, defaults. So now let me unplug the HDMI cable for my 360. Well, I guess I can just leave it in. Well, no, I'm going to have to unplug it. And I'll plug in the Xbox One HDMI. So what you want to do on the Xbox One, make sure you go into your display and sound settings. I'm going to go to color space, change that to PC RGB range. Now that's going to be a darker color. As you can see, it's not going to be grayscale, which was standard color space. You don't want that. This is a monitor. It supports the RGB, so make sure and turn that on. Now that's basically it, you guys. So if you have any questions, got any likes, please do, you know, comment below and I'll make sure and get back to you guys as soon as I can. Now I'm going to be streaming on Twitch a lot more. If you guys follow any Twitch channels, be sure to follow mine, twitch.tv slash stellar underscore red. I'm going to be uh, streaming a lot more, you know, having an interactive chat. If you guys want to stop by, come in, check me out, see what's happening, please do. I will greatly appreciate it. So until next time, I love you guys.